let's go live to these pictures now that are being supplied by NASA as the capsule carrying the two NASA astronauts who were stranded on the International Space Station for nine months, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, expected to begin its deorbit burn. So again, courtesy of NASA TV, let's, let's just eavesdrop. Let's, let's listen into what they're saying. Restraints are tight and visors are down. And copy, welcome. <laughs> Doesn't that always happen? As soon as we take something, there's no audio. Let's try, try for 10 more seconds. Engineer here in Hawthorne to Commander Nick Haig of Crew Dragon Freedom. We did hear that the loss of signal period is still at 2.44 p.m. Pacific, uh, but we had a one-minute adjustment to the acquisition of signal. That's going to now be at 2.51 p.m. Pacific time. However, our splashdown time remains the same at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. All right, off Tallahassee, yeah. So the splashdown time, uh, that is unchanged. So so that'll be 8.57 Eastern Australian time. So it gives me and Laura a bit to talk about today, more than usual anyway. So do stay with us, folks. We'll keep uh, touching base with that, uh, that live feed there from NASA TV because it's fascinating stuff. And, uh, boy, they were up there for what was supposed to be 10 days and it's now nine months. Talk about overstaying their journey.